Hello, welcome to Embrace the Lace. This is our pumpkin spice episode. If you'd like to see what I made for this edition of Embrace the Lace, stay tuned. Hello, everybody. I am so excited about this episode. I really enjoyed this. It was a fun a fun title for the edition and you got to make whatever it was that you could interpret into the phrase pumpkin spice. For me, I'm not really a coffee drinker, so I don't really do the pumpkin spice coffee or or things during the winter time. But I get really excited because any candle, pumpkin spice candle or any candle that they put out that has the pumpkin scent mixed with something, it just smells so good. So for me, pumpkin spice made me think about a candle or just a warm and cozy time at home. So I um, picked a free pattern to do for this episode. So let's talk about the pattern that I chose. Okay, I chose the Buttercup sweatshirt pattern. This is a free pattern from Mood Fabrics. If you go to Mood Society, um, or I'll put their web address at the bottom of the screen, but if you go to their site, they have tons of free patterns that you can choose from. Now for me, I uh, made a size 14. The only my complaint was um, I want to go up another size bigger because I really like this um, sweatshirt. It's really, really nice. So I just want to go up a size bigger. And I actually did that with the arms because I knew that I was going to need more room in the arm. So I went up a size bigger. So what I'm going to do is go up a little bit more in the arms and then a size bigger, maybe a little bit more bigger because there didn't seem to be too much of a difference. So I'm thinking about if maybe if I add an inch and then I want to make the... um the waistband that goes around the shirt bigger because it is a little tighter, but the waistband, the cuffs um, are good. And this is a little, a little tight. Now it could just be my fabric because I use my fabric as my collar band as well, because I didn't have a, like a knit ribbing to use for the, um, for the neck band as well as for the waistband. So that could be part of my problem, but I still want a little bit bigger fit. I feel like it fits like to the T and for a sweatshirt, you kind of want a little, a little um, bigness in it. You know, just not, not, it doesn't really have to be oversized, but you would like it a little bigger. So I am going to go up another size, but I really, really think this is a super, super cute sweatshirt guys. I really thoroughly enjoyed making this. Um, I enjoy adding my own touch to this. So the this is a punty knit that I was gifted from my friend Karen. Um, and she got this from Fabric Mart. The fabric feels nice, but I was shopping one day at the thrift store and I found these crochet tablecloths and I and I sent Grace and and Lara a picture and said do we consider this lace and it was like yeah sure so I used the tablecloth to embellish my sweatshirt and that's my lace for my make so what I did was the sleeve um, comes into three three parts so I took this is a this is um a sleeve i mean this is a pattern piece i don't know if you can see my scene but this is a pattern piece this is a pattern piece and then this is a pattern piece so i took this pattern piece and then i did an overlay with the lace over it and i just hand stitched it you can even see inside my um garment where i hand stitched this i was just watching tv and while i was watching tv i just hand stitched this to both 
to both sleeves. And then once I was finished, and that's when I put everything together. But I'm super excited. Like I said, it fits to the T. I don't really like sweatshirts to fit to the T. But this is really cute. You could even put extend the collar to make a turtleneck, which it kind of almost looked like I did um, a turtleneck. But I can see myself doing this, doing so much with this. And the pattern comes where you can do um, a halter, like a halter, a, a crop top, or you can do the length that I did, or you can do a dress. So I really might go up a few sizes to do the dress because I think it'd be super, super cute. I just really like the arms, the way it was made, because you could even with the arms being um, three pattern pieces, you could do color blocking. You can do so much with this pattern and it's free, 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 free. All you have to do is put in your information, your email address, and it comes right to your email and you print it out. So I print it out and I taped it together. Awesome pattern. So I would definitely be doing this one again, but I hope that you guys enjoyed my interpretation of pumpkin spice. I cannot wait to make this again. Like I'm ready to make the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to make this into a dress. This is so cute. I really like this pattern. I hope you enjoyed my interpretation of what I did with the pattern. I feel like it turned out very, very well. I'm just super, super excited. Can't wait for this to work tomorrow. Um, but don't forget to go and check Grace from So Lovely with Grace to see what she made, as well as Lara from Sewing Up Style. I'm going to head on over to their channel to see what they made. And as always, guys, don't forget to sew something fabulous and have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving holiday. Bye-bye.